Hey everyone, welcome back to the Krusty Krab. In today's video, we are talking about perhaps one of the simplest Material UI components out there, the backdrop component, which I believe is new to Material UI v5. And pretty much all this backdrop component is, is you click a button or for whatever reason, uh, your backdrop is open and all it does is it grays out the rest of the screen. And you know, it could even show some content or something in there. So if you wanted to put a dialogue or a paper in the example here, they have just a simple loading progress um, just to make it look like something's loading when you do something but you can actually put real components and nest like an actual UI and stuff inside of here if you wanted to so there's only one example and there's very few props to this component so I'm just quickly gonna go over it without even asking uh, for you guys to leave any comments to help with the YouTube algorithm or to subscribe and hit that notifications bell if you want to learn more because we're gonna get through this video so quickly essentially the way it works is we have a backdrop component and you can sort of nest this anywhere you want because it sort of goes over the entire page and the two main things you have to focus on are the open prop and the on click prop so on the open prop all that they are really doing is uh, passing in a state variable that defines when uh, we want this thing to be open or not. So you can see here they just named it open. Uh, and if they were to, for example, click on it, um, then, uh, sorry, if they click on the button that says show, uh, show backdrop, all that will do is handle the toggle and it will set open to be the opposite state, which if you're clicking on the button, the current state will probably be false because it's not open. Uh, but then when you click on it, it'll make it the opposite, which is true. And then if you were to go ahead and click anywhere else, um, which they pass in uh, handle close to the on click. And I believe the on click happens if you click on anything that's not the actual um, backdrop itself and it will actually just go ahead and just uh you know call that uh handle toggle and or sorry handle close and set it to close and uh, remove it from the ui now the other cool thing uh they is they pass in the sx prop which you can watch my whole video on sx prop in the description but uh essentially it's just a way to style the component and the cool things are number one they style the uh color to be sort of this like a uh, darker color but the cool thing they have here is about the Z index. Now, if you'll notice, the Material UI documentation has a drawer on the left side. And if you wanted it to also cover the drawer and not just the actual, you know, div that it is nested in uh, with its Z index, you can set the Z index of it equal to whatever the drawer's Z index is plus one. And the Z index controls how, uh, I guess, high it is on the Z uh, axis on the page. Uh, so, you know, websites are 2D pages, but... Um, you can have elements on top of each other. Like for example, this uh, drawer is sort of on top of the rest of this content and it's on top of the header and stuff like that because it cuts the header off. So by setting the Z index of uh, this backdrop equal to one bigger than the drawer, it'll also make sure that the, it covers the drawer as well and doesn't just cover this sort of square where the actual content is because the drawer is the highest uh, Z index element on the page. So I think it's a pretty cool component, has some pretty cool uses depending on what your website is about. For example, uh, you know, maybe if you wanted to replace a dialogue with something more like, you know, uh, noticeable, you could uh, do that. And that's pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.